So, why should you be ready? What do you need to be ready for? What is coming? Those are some questions we're going to ask, answer in a few minutes. Coming up next. Mm -hmm. So the question still stands, why should you be ready? And Lord only knows why. But we also do know why we need to be ready. If you just sit there and you pay attention to the news, if you actually believe the news, and you sit there and you watch and listen to the government, if you actually believe the government, then you can turn around and hopefully get on the internet and maybe try to find some true information, not fake news. And then you can make your own assumption on why you should be ready. Now, and just in case you're not able to do that, let's break that down for you. Okay, so why should you be ready? Well, you know, they're talking about all this kind of different things that are going to be going on and everything else. And who really knows? Okay, so let's just start listing some of this stuff off. All right. So summertime's rolling around. They're all saying that the... Um, uh, the bug is going to go away, or at least die off a little bit. All right, then you got another group of people who are saying, okay, well, then come fall and winter, uh, you know, it's going to come back around again, just like it did in the 1918-1919 flu season that killed off, you know, hundreds of thousands of people in the United States, millions of people worldwide. So, where are we going with this? Nobody knows. It's a $20 million question. Nobody knows. All these, you know, professionals and everything else, you know, they're in un uncharted territory and nobody can answer that question and give you an honest answer. There is not an honest answer out there because nobody knows. See where we're going with this? Nobody knows. So, then you turn around and, you know, you look at uh, what's going on with the stock market. Well, you got the stock market, you know, whoa, man, it's gone down the tubes. You know, I mean, it just keeps going down. One day it goes up, next day it goes down. It's like a roller coaster at Walt Disney World. So it's like, ooh, 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 you know, I mean, come on. So, you know, you don't have faith in that either, you know. Then you turn around and you look at uh, how many people are filing for unemployment. What are we up to now, like 20 million people that file for unemployment? I, I know in the state I live in here in Florida, you know, it's been just a joke. You know, the whole system crashed and, you know, people, you know, either still haven't filed, can't file, can't get into, you know, report, not getting any checks or anything else, but, quote, they're working on it. But they're still got money and getting paid. But they're the ones working on. I don't know, people. Yeah, it just seems like it's just one big pile of bullshit to me. Pass the buck on to somebody else. So why should you be ready? You know, there's a good question. You need to be ready. You got to be ready. You know, we're talking. You know, you got farmers out there that are, that are just plowing fields, that are having to kill off the cattle, dumping milk. You know, now they're starting to import meat from other countries while they, our cattlemen are just like, you know, you know, having to kill off their herds and everything else. They're closing down all these, uh, you know, processing plants. You know, wait, well, wait, the government wants them back open. They're going to make them essential employees. Um, you know, but this way here, you know, they all can go in there, stand shoulder to shoulder with no, you know, protection at all and uh, process our meats. Now, who's to say that this uh, so-called, quote, bug can't be transmitted onto the meat and then it comes out to us? Nobody knows. Got what I'm getting at here? So, what do people know? I'm going to tell you what I know, all right? First thing off. You need to make sure you have a plan. You've got to have a plan of action. What are you going to do? How are you going to execute it? You know, how are you going to get around the limitations? I've done videos on this kind of stuff. I just put out a hurricane uh, series of videos. Um, we're coming into hurricane season. That affects a lot of people. You know, you're talking from the one point of Texas all the way back around, all the way up the East Coast, and most of all the states that are inland because even though the storm hits the coast, when it goes inland, it still could have quite a bit of strength and dump tons of rain. So now your guys are dealing with more flooding issues and everything else. Maybe you need to buy a boat. I don't know. It is what it is. But you need to be prepared. 
you need to make sure that you have uh, food, you got to make sure that you have water, you got to make sure that you have medical supplies, you got to make sure that you have uh, any type of necessities that your family may need. You got to make sure that you have some way to cook in an emergency. You need to be ready and you need to have supplies on hand and that is why you should be ready. I've done extensive videos. You can go back and check out my channel. I think I'm up to like 76 videos now. Um, some of the ones in the beginning, um, they're very good as far as the content goes, but I was just learning how to do everything at that point and you know, use uh, uh, software and all this kind of stuff to edit the videos. Um, but the point of the videos, the content that is in there is what you're looking for. So, why should you be ready? Turn around and look at your family. That's why you should be ready. Don't wait to the last minute. Don't put it off. Do the right thing and be ready for your family. And when it comes down to it, why you should be ready is because of the people that live under your roof. My name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. If you got any comments or questions or if I can help you out in any way, leave them below in the comments section. Hit share, share this with all your friends and family. Get the word out there, because we all need to be ready. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.